What's up, Odooers? Today I'm going to show you how to use Odoo's email marketing app to quickly create attractive and compelling emails for your next email marketing campaign. Not a designer? Never heard of a color wheel? Not to worry, the email marketing app comes equipped with a variety of templates we can use and customize to our liking, so let's get into it. Let's get started on the email marketing dashboard. From here, all we have to do is click New to open a new mailing. This will take us to a blank email form where we can create a new template to be sent to our recipients of choice. Here at Stealthy Wood, we have an annual furniture expo coming up and we wanna make sure all of our loyal customers know about it. Typically, we like to send out an email announcement, but creating a new email each year can be time consuming. So instead, we'll make a template for it so we can reuse this each year. Before we start crafting our template, let's give it a little title. I'll call it something like Stealthy Wood Expo. If we want to add recipients, we can add them through the recipients field right here. But since we're just focused on creating a template for the future use, we'll bypass that field for now. Great. Now, if we look into the mail body tab, we can see a list of all the default email templates that we can choose from to start creating a new email. Each of these templates is crafted for some of the most common uses of the email marketing app. So let's take a look. Ah, yes. The event promo template looks good for starting this off, so let's go ahead and click it to use it. When we do, the template opens and alongside it, we get a nice sidebar of tools that we can use to edit and customize our email. This is gonna be broken down into three sections. We have blocks, customize, and design. Blocks contains pre-made sections such as headers, call to actions, text box with images, and so on. These can all be customized after being dropped in using the Customize tab. Finally, if we want to edit the overall template theme, all we have to do is click on the Design tab. Let's start by changing the link in the default header so it directs to our website. All we have to do is click the element that we want to edit. In this case, it's going to be the Odoo Experience header. And a blue box appears around it. And when that's selected, all you have to do is click on this edit link button here. You might have also noticed with the element selected, the edit sidebar automatically switched to the customize tab, showing all the elements for this. To change the link, all we have to do is find the URL section here and change it to our own, which I'll go ahead and do now. If you have a custom logo, we can quickly swap it out by clicking on this replace button in the image section. To do that, all you have to do is click it and upload your image and voila. To resize the image, we can click on and drag the breaking point right here and bring it in just to simply resize it. Moving on, we can also click on any element we want to edit and customize them in the same way. To edit the text in the email, for example, we can click any text box we want to change and start making modifications. So let's change the name of the event now and I'll highlight everything in the text box. And then we'll just go ahead and input our own description. Then I'll highlight what we typed and click the bold button. We can also change the background elements like text color, for instance. To do that, we'd click on the color section behind the text. And simply, a pop-up window appears with the preset colors we can quickly choose from in the Solid tab. If we click the Custom tab, we can see a much more exact color using the sliders, hex code, or RGB values. I have a hex code, so let's go ahead and use it here. Nice, this is really coming together, but let's say we wanna add some larger blocks of content to the template. For instance, we have a 10% off promo for a Expo tickets that we offered all of our email subscribers. To add it to a template, we'll switch over to the blocks tab. We could type in promo at the top and just simply drag and drop this block beneath the intro text block. That looks great, but let's customize it a bit. I'll change the 20% off to 10% off. and adjust the end date to 10.30. 
And let's also change the promo code to SWEPEX Expo 10. Finally, I can edit the link attached to the button by clicking the Use Now and then clicking the link icon directly below in the highlighted field beneath the edit sidebar. And then within the inline text section, we can add our URL to the link area. And while we're at it, let's make the button bigger as well. Right now it's at the medium size, but we'll make this a large size. Finally, let's do some overall adjustments to this template. I'm going to start by switching over to the design tab and clicking the small button in the body width field. This makes our email template a bit narrower, which usually looks a bit better on mobile devices. Next, I'll switch the fonts in the template. Scrolling down to the header area, we could change the fonts for each individual section. So for example, we can change this to Helvetica. We can do this section there as well. And let's also increase the font to 16, just to make it a bit bigger for everybody. To help our links stand out, I'm also going to change the color of the text to blue in the link section. Now, obviously, there's so much more we can do here to really craft the perfect email template, but that's good enough for this video. Now we can save our new template by simply scrolling up and clicking the Add to Templates button at the top of the email form. And obviously, if we wanted to remove this template, all we have to do is, you guessed it, click the Remove from Templates button. Now, let me show you how to use the email we just created. To do that, all we have to do is click the New button in the upper left-hand corner and we'll see our newly crafted template at the top of the template section in the email body tab. And when we click them, we can see the mail body becomes populated with a previously configured template, which we can continue to customize however we'd like. And that's gonna be it for this tutorial, Odooers. Today we've seen how to customize pre-made templates in Odoo using the email marketing app and how to save them for better use later. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.